we are honored to have Professor Dr. Fumiko, the Director of Center for Teaching and Learning from Tiko University, Japan. Her topic of presentation is the current situation of faculty development in Japanese university and an overview of subtle projects at Tiko University. Let us listen to her talk. Please welcome Professor Dr. Fumiko. Over to you, Professor. Uh, first, we please let me introduce myself uh, briefly. So I'm a director of the Center for Teaching and Learning, Tokyo University. My specialty is uh, educational technology and school management. And uh, I'm uh, working as an educational developer almost 12 years. Uh, these photos are taken last year when I visited Sarawak for my international survey. Uh, this is my first bit time visiting Malaysia, but Sarawak is a very beautiful city, and I'd like to visit uh, there again uh, when the COVID-19 infection is over. I met uh, Dr. Chen Zheng at the South Asia meeting in Singapore last, last September. The approach of SOTO at the universe that I heard from her is very systematic. I was really impressed, and I'd like to introduce it to our university in the near future. So, Tokyo University is one of the largest private universities in Japan. So, with 10 undergraduate schools and 11 graduate schools, the number of students is almost 24,000. We have five campuses and our CTF is located at the Hachioji campus uh, in Tokyo. The university's educational philosophy is a uh, one's way. I would love to explain what that means, but it's going to take a long time. If you are interested in it, please visit the Tokyo University's website. Uh, the mission of CTL is to uh, promote student engagement. Uh, this is uh, actually, this was uh, advised by Dr. Lee Fink when the center was established. He is a visiting professor at our university. And the uh, Scott program is one of the activities of student engagement. Uh, SCOT is an uh, acronym for Student Consulting on Teaching, a program developed by Brigham Young University in Utah, uh, U.S. This activity involves the trained students uh, observing the classes of a faculty member and advising them on on what improved their classes from a student perspective. So far, uh, not many faculty members have participated in this program, but we have generally received good feedback from them. So now, take your CTL uh, consists of faculty development, institutional research, instructional design, and academic writing for sections and 11 staff members. And we are promoting uh, university-wide faculty development activities in collaboration with the uh, faculty development committees of each faculty. Okay, my presentation is broadly divided into two parts. Uh, firstly, I will start by talking about why the need for educational reform is increasing in Japan and how faculty development have become obligatory at the university. And I will also talk about the current situation of faculty development activities at the university. Secondly, I'm going to talk about the overview of the social project at Tokyo University and how faculties who participate in it feel about the SOTOR project based on the questionnaire to the participants. 
my presentation will last about uh, 30 minutes or so. Okay, so I'd like to start by talking the overview about the situation of Japanese higher education. So this slide shows the number of higher education institutions and students in Japan. Uh, presently, there are nearly 4,000 higher education institutions, which has about 3.7 million students in Japan. And nearly 80% of the students belong to private institutions, like here. This means that uh, there are many students in uh, social uh, society who have been educated at private universities. And I think that the role of human resource development at private universities is large in Japan. However, it is predicted that the population will decline in Japan in the future. So please look at this figure. The bar graph shows changes in the 18-year-old population in Japan. A line graph shows the 18-year-old population's advancement to a higher education. In the Japanese school education system, many students take the college entrance examination at the age of 18 when they graduate from high school. It's a little old material because I couldn't find the latest English version of the same figure, but I think the numbers haven't changed so much. At the present, over 90% of the 18-year-old population is enrolled in some higher education institution. Meanwhile, the 18-year-old population continue to decline. Currently, there are almost 1.2 million right here, but it is predicted that by 2040, it will be less than 900,000. This means that each university, especially private universities, is under intense competition in how to obtain good students. And as you all know, society is changing rapidly and many global issues are becoming uh, apparent. The demands and expectations of higher education from society are not only increasing, but are also diversifying. Therefore, the Ministry of Education culture, sports, science, and the technology of Japan announced a message such as the one shown here, advocating the need for university education reform to society and the university. So the Ministry of Education has made the following effort to support universities' own education activities. I think Many countries have similar efforts by the government. In Japan, in particular, in order to improve the quality of university education, the law was revised in 2008 to make faculty development mandatory at the universities. The definition of faculty development in Japan is as shown here, a general term for organizational effort by teachers to improve teaching content and method. The meaning is extremely wide ranging. For example, a classroom observation by teachers, workshops for teaching methods, and training for new teachers, uh, etc. This report, issued by the Ministry of Education in 2005, and at that time, faculty development was focused on the 
improvement of teaching ability of university teachers, how to teach, what to teach, and faculty development was a new concept for most Japanese universities at that time. So I guess nobody knew what to do. As a result, all universities are implementing the similar FD faculty development activities. So the idea that only teachers should work to improve their teaching was the main focus at that time. And the idea of how students should approach their own learning was introduced on later. Uh, this is a survey by the Ministry of Education showing the recent states of faculty development in Japanese university. For example, it can be said that each university has made much progress in establishing a faculty development center or organization and a system for evaluating teachers' educational achievement. Like this. Yes. However, only about half of the universities that responded to this survey provided training, provided that training uh, for the faculty members to observe each other's classes and to implement active learning, which means that continued efforts are needed. And only about 16% of full-time faculty participated in fac faculty development activity. This may indicate that some teachers are still not proactively participate in faculty development. It's a big issue in Japanese university. And what have uh, what has become a problem in recent years is that the roles required of university teachers have been changing. As you know, faculty members are expected, expected to, play, to play four roles, such as education, research, social service, and uh, administration. Of course, depends on the position the ratio of effort to put into the follow will differ. But overall, expectations for roles related to the education and the social services are increasing. This graph shows the changing in the amount of the time teachers spend in each role. More time is spent on education and social activities, like this. Less time on research. This, is, this situation is more obvious in the private university teachers. In this situation, I guess teachers are a bit tired of faculty development activities. And some teachers also find it increasing, increasingly difficult to spend enough time on education and research. In addition, nowadays, the career paths of university teachers are diversifying. Given the changing role of university teachers and the increasing diversity of the teachers, I thought that faculty development activities were necessary to meet the diverse needs of the teacher. Therefore, in order to faculty members to work on class improvement more proactively, I thought that it was necessary to provide support based on individual interest and concern. And we decided to work on improvement, total project, introducing total project into Nara University. Uh, because we thought that by introducing the SOTO, teachers would be able to improve their class to better meet the individual interest or issues. That's why. 
Okay, from here, I will talk about the overview of the SOTO project at Tokyo University. In 2017, the SOTO project introduced to support educational research conducted by faculty members on their own. It aims to implement the educational ideas of Tokyo University and support research activities related to individual teachers. The SOTO project is generally undertaken for a period of one year, during which participants are provided with a research grant. As of 2020, a total of 37 teachers have participated in our SOTO project. Oh, this is a, these are a class, classification of research theme. The popular research themes are design and assessment of classes using ICT and design and assessment of active learning classroom. This, I think this trend reflects the demands of the society and the times. And we did a post-project survey for the total project participants. Participants were asked to select multiple choices answers and write reasons for their selections with regard to seven items. This time, I would like to introduce the result of the answers to question one, two, three, and six in 2018 and 2019, when the survey was conducted. The valid response rate was 100% for both years. Okay. For well, first of all, regarding question one, most participants answered that working on SOTO was meaningful or almost meaningful for themselves. The reason for this are given here, uh, the participants seems to have gained the awareness of how to improve their classes and to be able to organize their own efforts like this. And next in question two, most of the participants answered that it was meaningful or almost meaningful to participate in the social community for themselves. Reasons are given here. Participants felt that it helped to uh, reduce their loneliness and to share the information about the classes. The loneliness is a very big issue in Japanese universities. So to promote, to work on the SOTO. And in question three, many participants shared their SOTO effort with other teachers in informal situation. They are uh, indicated that go open to the public and sharing the social effort is limited to colleagues and other participants in the social project. So this result was a little different from what we expected. We were hoping that the findings from SOTO would spread across the campus. So we make it an obligation to SOTO participants to submit their paper to the, our center's journal. But I'm concerned that it just stopped there and it doesn't lead to a motivation to go to public. So our challenge is how to promote the publication and sharing the findings from SOTO efforts inside and outside the university in the future. So, and the question six is, what kind of training 
participants need in order to implement a sort of many uh, people responded survey design and uh, analysis here and uh, evaluation of research like here indicating that participants feel the need to know more about the techniques used in educational research and that they are interested in how to assess their own social activity. Uh, how about the situation of social at other universities? I would love to hear from today's participants later what kind of support university provided to social participants. Okay. Finally, uh, this is a conclusion of my presentation. Uh, first, uh, faculty development activities in Japan uh, seem to be a little stagnant, and the university teachers seem to be a little tired with many roles. Second, all participants who participated to our SOTO project considered their social effort to be significant. However, information sharing on social effort is not very proactive. Why? Third, what kind of support and the systems are needed for teachers to engage in social activities more proactively? Anyway, at our university, SOTO is just beginning, and uh, under the try and error situation, we would like to do our best to meet the expectations of teachers. I would be grateful if you could share me your experience and suggestion. Thank you for thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Professor Fumiko. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> Thank you for sharing um, some data on uh, the faculty development at Japanese University um, and some challenges that you faced. And also um, the survey, the st uh, survey data is also in interesting um, that the SOTO initiative uh, participants seems to find it very significant um, contribution to them. Um, but then again, questions in terms of providing support to those um, sort of practitioners um, is something that needs to be shared as well. So I think um, if there is two questions here, Prof. Miko, one is, um, let's see, Japan is doing very well in research of science and technology, how is SOTO now in the Japanese higher education in the field of science and technology? So I would think the question would be, is SOTO implemented in the field of science and technology in Japanese higher education? Is research a big part in undergraduate level? Did you get the question, Prof? Uh, I beg your pardon. It's a very small. Your face. Your yeah, very small. Um, okay, I repeat the question. Yeah, Prof. Yeah. Um, a participant um, state that Japan is doing very well in research of science and technology. Yeah. So, um, how is SOTO now in uh, the Japanese higher education, especially in the field of science and technology? Oh. Is research a big part in the undergraduate level? Okay. So, uh, in fact, I don't have a clear picture of how many universities are doing the SOTO. I'm guessing that uh, there aren't many universities that have uh, initiatives that are clearly named SOTO. However, I suspect that there are other universities that have similar programs to support uh, educational research in a similar way. Uh, and yeah, 
in fact, I don't know that well, how many universities are clearly so, uh, introducing the SOTO. Uh, actually, uh, in Japan, the SOTO is a very new concept. Yeah. Uh, some, so it tries to the spread out of the concept of the SOTO. I'm, I'm right now trying to the spread out this, uh, this concept. Right, okay. But at least in Teiko uh, University, then the initiative has already started. Okay, yeah. Right, and uh, um, how about uh, this one question in terms of translating subtle words um, yeah. to Japanese language? You mentioned when you do the survey, uh, one of the problems is to promote publication and share yeah. those findings to the public. Um, um, is the subtle publication is in yeah. Japanese language or yeah, is there any initiative to translate the subtle works to Japanese language? Yeah, yes. Um, so right now that only a Japanese language. Uh, yeah, a Japanese people, Japanese teachers is not very good at English like me. <laughs> so yeah, I try to the publish the some uh, our paper to in the English, but uh, right now it's very small, very little, very few. <laughs> or, or is there any way to translate um, subtle other subtle words into Japanese language? Yeah, so, yeah, that's another another way to look at it as well. Ah, so, yeah, yes, yeah, uh, to, so that um, yeah, the, the Japanese uh, yes. university can also get some a lot of information yeah. about subtle. Yes, in the future, I try to, uh, I just plan the, some um, very famous textbook or something or it translated into Japanese. It's more so effective to the spread out of the concept of the soto. Yes, I, I think. Uh, thank you very much for your idea. 